Well, that's what it looks like now. Weather man was off a wee bit. There's no white stuff. It's 45 degrees this morning. It was supposed to have been 33. And yeah, as of when it quit raining about a half an hour ago, we now have two inches for the month, which makes it almost an inch and a half in the last 24 hours. I even closed this last night because the wind was blowing and it was cold and it was supposed to get colder. And I thought, huh, oh, you know, we'll just solve part of that problem and go from there. Boom, boom. There we go. Let there be light. I'm going to do things a little backwards. I'm not going to feed the dogs yet. Take a swig of that. Piss the dogs off. Come over here. And I don't know why the radio is making such a good connection this morning. Blue. No. That's why I usually feed the dogs first. They have to come pick on the girls. Oh, that gets old once in a while, too. I haven't weighed those, but I figure they're 40 pounds. Good morning, Sapphire. <laughs> Good morning, 721E. Yeah. I think your brother, we got to go pick him up from freezer camp. I think your brother was one of those, too. I'm not sure, though. He might have been in the ones that went earlier. Oh, 01AH. Oh, 21AZ. Yeah, that one and that one get yellow tags when they finally get done. Tags have been done. We just haven't got them run yet. Oh, and 241 comes to visit. Rainy's by my feet, so they're checking her out. And Hope stands between two of the biggest ones in here with another one of the biggest ones behind her. Yeah, she just doesn't know how to flatter herself, obviously. Blue. It'd be nice. Blue and red like to reach through the gates. The red thinks there's calf poop in the maternity pen over there, but there ain't no calves over there yet. Poor guy. Thinks he's going to get something good. Ah, 611D. How are you this morning, sweetheart? Huh? Oh, if I had to guess. Can't read it. It's 617, I think. The tall one that had her head up. I was thinking it might have been 511C, because 511C is another big one. But it may be 511C behind her. Anyway, so last night after I went to bed, my phone went kind of crazy for a little bit. I decided, I've got a migraine. If I still have it in the morning, I'm not coming out. Well, it's kind of nice to have some help to get a bail up there. and need to get a bail up there today. <laughs> Along with a couple other things need to get done. But, you know, I told her I already called in dead. So somebody was going to have to come out and feed. But, you know, doesn't seem to matter. Even when I didn't live here for 20 years, I could be so sick I couldn't hardly roll out of bed and hit the floor. I still came out and fed. Not all the time, though. There were times I called Dad and I said, that tough shit, Dad, you're doing it, I ain't. But I'm still up here doing it, and there's four minutes of your day, mostly heifer talk. Much for our sunshine we had for a little bit. My weather app just told me that it's going to start raining in an hour and a half. <clears throat> and, and before that, it said we wouldn't have any rain till 5 o'clock. It's been raining for the last half hour. And let's see how these things work. I've always had one or two. Becky had her own until she screwed it up. Then she stole mine and screwed it up because she left them laying in the basket on the front of the bike out in the rain. Pointed up. They don't survive so well that way. <clears throat> they won't light after that. And uh, she decided she wants another one again. So it was cheaper to buy the two-pack than it was to buy one. 
So fill these up, then she'll have her own lighter again. She can leave mine alone. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I might have one too, an extra one. Maybe. Come on, dogs. So we can stand out here in the rain. Oh. Yeah. Shithole in here, yet. And I ain't gonna get to it today. There's a lot of stuff I ain't gonna get to. Why? Because, well, frankly, I like Ty. I feel like crap. She just sent a picture. I'm assuming Maury took the picture. Her and Blakely are all curled up and covered up in the chair sleeping. Remember where things got put. Yeah. There's the one I use all the time. Got another one similar anyway in the service truck. I just got to remember where the... Because this stuff used to be over there with the... Now it's over here. Yeah, yeah. Fill those up, make sure they work, go from there. Yeah, and no, I don't want to focus. It's uh, above the sight gauge. Apparently, when it's above the sight gauge, that's what it'll do. And that's got the gas turned all the way down. So, who knew? The more I run it, the less it's trying to do that. So, but it's still doing it. You shut it off, and for some reason, it's taking it a minute. I don't want it to keep going. But this one, let's see if it'll focus, it is right at the max line instead of being up about where my thumbnail is. Perfect every time. It's kind of interesting, though, there's no safety on the trigger on this. There's a little plastic piece that was slid on there. But. Yeah, how many of us are going to lose the little plastic piece? On our others, there's a deal you got to flip to do it. All this has is the trigger lock. Click it on, lock the trigger. Click it off when you're done. Seems to be pretty good, though. You know, Chinese, I'm sure. TB Tech. Tells you right there that it's a torch. <laughs> and interesting that that's either aluminum or pot metal. I don't think it's plastic. It doesn't feel like plastic. And this is actually metal with the plastic ring on the bottom. So maybe Becky won't destroy it as quick as she's destroyed the others. <laughs> Becky decided we'd go for a ride. Went up the other way, checked out that new house. They got wrap on it now and the roof's on it. Doing something inside. And uh, yeah, mom went back and looked at everything we've got from the county. Absolutely nothing for that piece of property. So, kind of interesting they can get by without notifying any of the neighbors. And we're looking at just how Mother Nature's done stuff. But I figured I haven't been up here to the falls for quite a while. So, I get you a shot of the falls. And uh, there was a beaver dam where those branches come down in the middle of the creek just above the falls. It's no longer there. That's too bad. I'm not going to go down there because you can see how wet it is. I don't think I get back out of there on this bike. But we figured we'd check perimeter fences. And from here, that fence is still there. <laughs> Doesn't mean it is for another couple hundred feet, though more for you. It took the gate wires down. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure our government won't be happy because uh, you know, I've got permission from them to go along the other side of that fence to access our other fence that's on the other side of the creek over there. And that's all in the way. Which means when it gets dry enough I can get down here with something. That's going to get shoved out there a ways. Because i got to have room to get through there, if I need to. Yeah, I ought to charge them my time for getting it out of the fence line and for fixing the fence, too. Since, you know, they should have had it happen, it was going to come down.
since the other half of it is laying right over there where it's been for the last couple of years. And it looks like there's some more down again. There's a cedar tree, should be about the middle of the screen, but I can't see the screen on my phone right now. Kind of goes, well, it used to stand straight up, so something happened over there. Yeah, they don't give a shit. Government at its best. Been playing Dodge the Raindrops. Yeah, can't see very far that way. Yeah, they got three tubs in there. Two year olds got a tub. Cleaned up all the old tubs. I thought the ones that were sitting over there had been cleaned up, but they hadn't. Becky come out and left the cows in the feed barn and helped me get the other tub in. And yeah, I'm jetting between point A and point B. Trying not to get too wet. So, everything's done. I'm going to go in. At least that's my plan. And just about time to start editing the video so you can see it. And I'm going to say something I haven't said in a long time. Said in a long time. I'll learn to speak English eventually. Other than thank you for watching. Hope you all had a great Thursday and hope you all have a great Friday. Um, hey, if you stop by and watch, hit the like button and subscribe. You know, I don't believe in begging for subscribers, but it's getting to that point, I guess. You know, I finally broke the 2K and made it to, I think it made it up to 212 or 216, and then it went back to 204, and gee, it's finally back up to like 208, but it's, you know, I gain one and lose two, and gain three and lose one, and I don't know how that works. It didn't do that before Google took over TikTok. Or took over, not TikTok, geez. I'm, not, I'm on the wrong platform. Took over YouTube. YouTube, if you lost one, it's because they went through and cleared out the bots. And uh, they, since Google took it over, it's a freaking yo-yo. You can't keep up with it. Up, down, up, down, up, down. I mean, it looks worse than the stock market in a bad year. Anyway, I'm gonna get wet again. She has all the energy now.